The diagram shows a triangle, ADE. AE is equal to DE, so these two sides are equal in length. AB to BC to CD is 1 to 2 to 1, so we could call these lengths 1, 2 and 1. We want to prove that triangle ACE is congruent to triangle DBE. Sometimes it helps with these proofs to draw the triangles separately. So this one is ACE. So we'll call it ACE. And then the other one is DBE. So D to B to E like so. Doesn't have to be accurate, just draw them separately and then mark on the things that we've already found out. AE is equal to DE and A to C is three units and B to D is three units. So in other words, this one and this one are the same length. Now, since these are the same length, the original triangle ADE is isosceles, and we know that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So those are equal, and now we can see these are congruent by side angle side. We know the two sides and the included angle in each triangle. So that's going to be the basis of our proof. So we can say AE is equal to DE, and that was given to us. We can say AC is equal to BD, and that's because of the ratios given. And then angle EAC is equal to angle EDB, and that's because of what we just worked out. So base angles in an isosceles triangle. And therefore we can say that triangle ACE is congruent to triangle DBE. And the reason we worked out was side angle side.